All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show. And in today's episode, I really I really like that episode where I was, like, explaining video games to a non-gamer. And I decided that in this episode, literally seconds before I start this episode, I was like, nah, let me go ahead and do another one. In explaining, I don't know why I was about to say involving, ex- explaining racing games to a non-racing gamer, I think that's... Yeah, I, I think that's what the title should be. But anyways, no, so the thing is, is this. For those that don't know, I love racing games, all right? Racing games have always been a genre of video games that I can sit down and put countless and countless hours into. You name a racing game, I've played it. Whether it's new, indie, um, old, it don't matter what the racing game is. I've played it, bro. Like, I, it's it's something where I'm like, I can't get enough of racing games. It's crazy because you would think, like, okay, like, at some point in time, you like, you know, you, you just get bored of them. Like, no, bro. I can sit down. The funny thing is, not too long ago, there's, uh, so for those that don't know, there's a racing series um, called Forza. They got two um, separate games within the series. They got Forza Horizon and Forza Motorsport. Now, with Forza... When I very first got into those games, hated it because it was like Forza was the first time I ever played a Simcade game. Simcade means like it's half simulation, half arcade. So they have some aspects of like how it would be to drive that car. Like they make the car look realistic. They make the car sound just like the actual thing. They have it where you go through all this um, like trouble to, you know, customize the car and upgrade it and all that stuff. But it's not going to handle like the um, car. Like it, it sounds like it. It looks like it. It, but it's going to ha- every the thing is is this every all-wheel drive car is going to ha- um, handle the same every front wheel drive car is going to handle the same all four wheel drive rear wheel drive all the like cars in them genres they're all going to handle the same you know so yeah the thing is, is this like with games like that now I love them, but when I very first played, I so the first Forza that I ever played was Forza Motorsport 3, and I hated it. My friend, because he was telling me, this is back when I was in high school, so my friend was telling me about it, and I never heard of it, but I had, I just got me an Xbox 360, so there was a lot of games that my friends had that I didn't know about, or I didn't have them and stuff. So, anyways, um, he told me about Forza, he let me borrow it, I borrowed it, I remember we, um, he was playing his game one night, then I was playing the game of uh, Forza Motorsport, I hated it. I was like, this game is stupid. I was like, the cars are slow. No, I hate this. This this is this is horrible. I like because I came from like Midnight Club. Midnight Club is just strictly arcade. Like they don't have no uh simulation to it whatsoever. Like, no, that game is an arcade game. All right. So I came from like an arcade like Mario Kart, Midnight Club. Um, what are some other games that I, um, grow I, I remember playing Gran Turismo. That was like the, I think the one and only time I did play a Simcade game prior before I really, well, I mean, it ain't really Simcade. I had to say probably back then it was. Now it's more of a simulation than Simcade, but I feel like they still kind of have like some arcade aspects and things like they, you know, it, it's, I, I'll get, I'll get into Gran Turismo. I'll talk on Gran Turismo. I guess like if you're looking on what, um, platform, like, cause let's say you have the playstation probably the best bet to go with if you are looking for a realistic light game um a realistic racing game yeah gran turismo is gonna probably be the best option but if you ain't really into that there are other options on playstation xbox pc you'll be surprised on how many racing games exist all right so but anyways uh but yeah back to forza so yeah i played forza for the first um time hated it but as i started i was like playing more and more and more of it fam i that's one of forza motorsport three and four is honestly two of my favorite racing games of all time like i and it's funny because there um is a retro game store that i've been going to a lot recently and um they had an xbox 360 and they have forza motorsport 3 and 4 it was meant for me to find out about that store and it was meant for me to get an xbox to get forza motorsport 3 to get forza Forza motorsport 4 and be on my cody road stuff i gotta finish my story bro because the and the the funny thing is is like the game ain't got no story mode if you're thinking it's gonna have like these acted out story modes no they seriously they have it where you turn that game on they do have a career mode and they have um this like event list mode so the career mode it's like yeah they got you traveling all across the world and stuff um doing all these different races and then the event list the event 
or a noise outside but anyways the event list so they pretty much have it where you're just um like it's the same thing as the career mode but it's uh more like racist so i guess when you do complete the uh career mode then uh yeah you got something uh a secondary mode it's pretty much like career mode um, career mode part two and that was something that i love so much about that game was that there is so much time that you can put into that game i guarantee and i promise you if that was a game because at back then on the xbox 360 they didn't showcase like how many hours you put into a game i don't even think now on the xbox i think you gotta go to a website or something to uh see how many i'm watching wrestling by the way so if you hear my voice kind of go like far away and then come back it's because i'm turning and looking back and forth at my tv and stuff so but anyways um no if like forza motorsport 3 and 4 was a game available on steam you guys definitely would see how many hours i would put into that game because the no the game is it's it's really fun like it's and no I, honestly i might even play them games tonight because i was like nah man i i'm gonna probably squeeze in some hell divers uh um stuff on my stream but i am going i i felt like i need to it's it's been too long okay and i'm like i i need to play those games so but anyways yeah forza um uh that series it, it's it's honestly a perfect racing game because they do have it where it's like if you want a simulation you very well can get a simulation but if you want an arcade um like you know feel to it like you really ain't trying to do all that extra stuff and things and you just want to play a game and win races literally can do that like forza is the i have to say that's the one game that's meant for everybody any and everybody can play that game like if you're even if you're just getting into the game that that game is it's meant for beginners and it's meant for like expert racers and stuff so that's one thing about forza is that you'll never feel left out like i played that game i played that game with friends i played that game um by myself and i'm like and as i gotten older it's like i've gotten better at the game and things you know like that's a game where i'm like yeah that'll be the probably the one if i if i had a choice of playing any like racing games for like the rest of my like content right like at least just one all right i'm not gonna say you know what all video games i'm saying in the racing genre if i only had one game to play it definitely would be forza because i was like nah man forza it's what like it like i said it's a game where you can continuously keep on playing it so yeah forza motorsport 3 and 4 i had to say forza motorsport 4 when that game came out i was like wow this is this it was it's pretty much the same thing as 3 so if you do go and get you an xbox 360 and you do get i guess like it, it's pretty it's pretty much like yeah you got like one with like older visuals and then you got one with somewhat newer visuals and stuff but other than that it's still a, um it's still a good game two good games that you should definitely go check out so but yeah forza that's a game where it's like if you're looking for a game to like start off with forza is definitely a good game to start off with and I, they do have newer options they do have the new forza motorsport that just came out last year and they also have forza motorsport um for, no forza horizon 5 which um came out i think 2021 but if you actually go so there's a website called g2a.com and and you possibly could get Forza Motorsport 7 on if you so like let's say if you get yourself an Xbox um Series X or an Xbox Series X I think you can get Forza Motorsport 7 which was um hold on for a second uh Xbox key which was like one of the last few uh or the last um Forza that they released on the Xbox ones which were the last consoles that they re um released before the Xbox Series X and S so you can actually go and get Forza Motorsport 7, which has a lot of content. And they have like special edition. Like, yeah, they got the ultimate edition um on uh no actually no that's a different website no even GameStops they even have it where you could get the game there too but it's 40 but no cd keys they have it where you could get it for 27 um dollars uh e uh, aniba i think e n e b a dot com they have it where you could get it for 32 dollars and then uh g2a they have it where you could get it for 35 dollars so yeah forza motorsport or, um forza motorsport 7 in my opinion has a lot more content than then uh forza the new forza motorsport so if you're looking for something with a little bit more content then you could possibly save yourself like uh 30 40 dollars and then just go ahead and get forza motorsport 7 but no actually what you can do if you do get yourself an xbox you actually can just get the xbox game pass and then you could play forza um horizon 5 i think forza horizon 4 i don't know about 3 2 and 1 um but you can play forza horizon 5 for sure um on the xbox game pass and also uh forza the new forza motorsport you don't have to buy it. all you just got to do is just get uh get the xbox game pass and you can play that 
game at no extra cost. So that's one thing that I do say that I can say that I like about Xbox is that they have it where it's like it's even easy to access the game on top of that, on top of like you know knowing about it and stuff. So, but anyways, um, yeah, definitely if you're um getting an Xbox, I in my opinion, like if you're wondering like which um console should I start off with, Xbox, PlayStation, or um get yourself a gaming PC. You actually can get yourself a gaming PC, and you very well can play those two games um on a gaming PC. You don't necessarily have to, but the thing is this though, you have to make sure that you get yourself a good gaming PC. So that's why I'm like, if look, fam, if you got 4K TV and you got it, um and you got ports to plug in an Xbox Series X or or X or S, then yeah, I, in my personal opinion, opinion, I would recommend. Why am I stuttering, bro? But anyways, my personal opinion, I would recommend getting an Xbox Series X or S because it's uh, a lot more easier to run those games versus on um, getting it because it's weird. They optimize those games for the Xbox Series X and S, which is okay. But at the same time, it's like they're developing the games on PC. But when you try playing those games on PC, they're a little bit slower and laggy. So it's weird because I'm like, why even come out with the game on PC if they're not going to run properly and stuff? So, but anyways, um, yeah, I would recommend getting an Xbox because you have the Xbox Game Pass. And if you want to kind of, I guess, like if you get tired of playing some racing games, you do have other options and stuff. So, but anyways, yeah, they, uh, um, Forza Motorsport and um, Forza Horizon, they're two good games to start off with if you have an Xbox. Now, talking on PlayStation, PlayStation, they have one racing game, which is Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo is a little bit more challenging than Forza. They go a little bit more deeper in depth when it comes to uh, racing. Like they have it where you gotta take your car to the car wash. You gotta. Uh, um, they have an option where you could get used cars. Like I will say that if you're looking for something a little bit more challenging, Gran Turismo is definitely a good option. And you're probably asking that question: Do they have a subscription service? Does PlayStation have a subscription service where I can also play Gran Turismo at no extra cost? No. They don't have that option, <laughs> and it's so weird because it's a PlayStation exclusive. Xbox got all these Xbox exclusives where you can play those games at no extra cost. Uh, PlayStation, that Xbox, had, okay, anyways, because I was like, I thought I had set that backwards. But anyways, PlayStation, on the other hand, they don't have, um, no, they do have their subscription service, but they don't have Gran Turismo on that subscription service unless they've changed it, and it's been a minute, but, I mean, it has been a minute since I have went on their subscription service, so check, um, I guess, if they do, but if they don't, then, yeah, like I said, stick with Xbox, you'll get a little bit more content with them, so, but anyways, um, but yeah, I guess, like, like I said, if you, um, do want something a little bit more challenging Gran Turismo um is a, a good option but if it's too much for you uh and then you're all like well dang like I didn't bought this PlayStation 5 like what other racing games do they have and stuff they have um the one uh latest racing game from a company that I don't really trust but I will say that this game um is somewhat decent it's like the one time I had to say that they did get a game right um, they actually have two games, and both of those games, um, uh, they do have a lot of content within the uh, two of them and stuff. But uh, the second, um, and it's weird, I, I, I would recommend the first one, but they, I think at some point in time, they took the first one out of stores. So I don't even know if you can even get that one anymore. I, like I said, maybe uh, one of those um, like G2A or CD Keys or one of those websites might have it where you could get it. But don't fall for no scams. If somebody's out there charging a crazy amount for that game, whatever amount you find crazy for that that game then yes do not buy it but no they uh there's these uh two games called the crew 2 and the crew motor fest and yeah i would say that i played a little bit of the crew 2 the crew 2 has a lot of content in there like i mean a, a lot I, there's like you know they have it i i have to say that i like how them two games are set up because um let's say you go and you buy uh the crew 2 and then you start off with that play it beat it get through the whole game all that stuff and then you're all like okay now i'm gonna move on to the crew motor fest there are a cars i don't know if it's all the cars but there are some cars that you can transfer over to the crew motor fest that you got in the crew too so you don't have to like go and buy a bunch of different cars and i know people are gonna probably be asking that question wait a minute you gotta buy the cars in these racing games yes i feel like that's something uh, uh a little bit you know of advice that i might have forgot to uh leave in or put into this episode but no uh they they do have it where you gotta like buy the cars and stuff so not like you gotta put your own 
well there's some cards where it's like you gotta put your money up to get it more so talking on dlcs and stuff so yeah there's um like with racing uh, yeah i think uh, if you know video games i'm more so doing this episode i guess if you don't know video games but if you know video games then yes there's um extra content that these uh game developers will put in i guess they didn't they decide well no they didn't, that didn't decide but they pretty much they at them when the game originally came out it was just something that they thought of afterwards so they was like okay yeah let's just call it a dlc ask for like maybe 10 15 dollars and then yeah well depending on what game it is some might be cheaper some might be um a little bit more expensive and then you might have some games that got like a season pass where it's like oh you gotta go there seasonal like a seasonal thing where uh yeah you know you just pretty much get a car and but you have like a certain amount of time to get those cars and stuff so but anyways, um, but yeah, they do have it where you gotta buy the cars. And they have some stuff where it's like, um, you gotta, I think Gran Turismo is like that, where you gotta, like, the cars, they do get a little, um, like, uh, not old, but they do deteriorate after a while and stuff, so you gonna uh, probably have to do some upgrades to, uh, fix them and things. But, um, other than, I think Gran Turismo is like that, I don't know, but anyways, um, I, yeah, cause it's, it's been a minute since I, I actually was raging on that game, so I was like, I hadn't played that game since sense because it was the thing is is like what i don't like about that game is that i get that you're wanting a simulation out of it but like i like with forza they do have it where there's that option where it's like okay you don't have to get a simulation you very well can just you know play this game and just have fun because at the end of the day a game is a game a game is a video game i understand that gran turismo wants to be a little bit different and they don't want to be a video game but you're being sold on a video game console what else are you going to be, okay, so, yeah, that's why I'm like, yeah, it's, with Gran Turismo, they, they a little different, you know, so, but, um, one thing that I will say is that I know people will probably ask, like, how can I really enhance the, um, experience with racing games, so, something that I got, because I had one of these when I was a kid, but it wasn't as advanced as the one that I got now, um, so I'm pretty sure you might have seen some videos, like if you go and look at other people when they're playing racing games, you've probably seen people that get um, steering wheel controllers. So pretty much PlayStation and Xbox, they got these steering wheel controllers from Ferrari, another, um, well I think, I don't think it's Ferrari that makes them, but I think it's like a Ferrari steering wheel. Ferrari might make, um, they might make the controllers, I don't know, but anyways, Logitech, which is what I have, and I think there's some other ones, like they got like the Formula One racing, by the way, I feel like that's something that i forgot to mention because i'm like if you do get gran turismo um the crew or uh forza they do have like a wide variety of cars in there from like your um day-to-day -day street car like a honda you know civic to like a straight up formula one electric car or something you know so yeah there's a lot of different cars in these video games um another video game that i forgot to mention is uh grid legends that's another uh racing game where it's kind of like a uh, are a simcade you know where it has like its simulation look but it has its arcade feel and stuff so but anyways getting back to the steering wheel controller so uh they do have these steering wheel controllers where the uh they it gives you that experience of like wow you really got to be paying attention when playing this game and uh, one game that i started off with they really i feel like it helped me when it came to these uh types of um just changing that experience with playing with a steering wheel controller there's a uh racing game where that's an uh, another simulation game um called Assetto Corsa Competizione and so yeah I when I had there uh very first got my steering wheel controller I got that game and I sat down and I practiced I put a lot of hours into that game I can't even um like I had to open up steam and stuff to see how many hours I put into it but yeah, I had I had to say that I put a lot a lot of hours into that game, practice on a lot of different tracks, practice with a lot of different um cars, and well maybe not a lot, but it was a few different cars in the game that I practiced with, and then eventually I did um try to play Forza uh, Horizon Five. That's something that I'll say about Forza Horizon Five is that the um the feel of like with the steering wheel controller, it just feels too loose, like it feels like I'm driving on ice. Like I wish that they had the controls of Forza Motorsport, the new forza motorsport in uh, uh forza horizon 5 because yeah it just it felt like you know if you watch that movie the polar express remember that scene where they got on the ice and then tom hanks um was on the thing trying to guide the guy to make sure he had straight for the train tracks but they were sliding back and forth that's how i felt when i played uh forza horizon 5 
And it's weird because with Forza Motorsport, I played Forza Motorsport, the new one, and 7. And I'm trying to think, did I play any of the old ones? I, it might have been 6 or 5. But, um, yeah, I played some of the older ones, too. And I'm like... How is it that you guys went from the controls in that game to the controls in Forza Horizon 5? If they do come out with another Forza Horizon, I'm like, at Microsoft, please, make it to where the controls, like, it, it's, you know, it's not too slidey. I'm like, fam, I felt like, I was like, bro, am I on ice skates or something? What is going on? I'm like, fam, you need, like, some all-terrain tires or something. I'm like, what, what is happening right now? So, yeah, there are some games where not all games handle the same way like um all racing games they they might you might the thing is is this you'll get let's say you um like you you're um big baller you know like shot caller whatever you want to call yourself but let's say you go out and you get yourself an xbox you get yourself a playstation you get forza motorsport forza horizon and you get gran turismo you cash out at your local best buy right best buy target walmart wherever you got people looking at you all like who are you all right so anyways but no let's say you go and you get them two racing games and you notice that they have the same track same cars all that stuff both of those games are going to feel different. You can put both of those games on the easiest difficulty. You'll definitely notice a major difference between both games. So yeah, that's one thing about racing games is that they all feel different. It ain't no different than any other um, video game out there where it's like you'll look at uh, Minecraft and then you'll look at Lego Fortnite two uh different games uh pal worlds and then there's this other game i think called like intruded or something like that two different games might do the same exact stuff two different games um let me think of some other games let's say yeah dc they come out with a superhero game and then marvel got their superhero games like spider-man and all that oh yeah no yeah suicide squad and then the spider-man games they might look like, yeah, they might both be superhero games, two completely different games, all right? So, yeah, that's one thing about racing games. It's no different than any other video game that exists. They're all different. Yeah, they might have the same tracks, same cars, but they all feel different, okay? You got some simcades, you got some arcades, you got some simulations. Um, They even have some racing games out there where you're not even racing. You're just watching a race. So, there's this uh racing game where it's uh, F1 manager, and you're just managing the racers. You're not than um actually racing so i did play a little bit of that it's okay i thought it was i don't know it's just it's one of those games where i'm like i wouldn't want to spend money on it it's one of those games where i'm like if it's available on the x I, it might it actually might be available on the xbox game pass i think it is hold on for a second let me uh check one real quick f1 uh manager uh okay hold on xbox game pass it might be available on by um F1 Manager 2023. If this is it, then this uh then I yeah I might I don't know what, what, maybe one of these days I might download this game again and play it. It's taking a minute for the Xbox page to load up and stuff. So is it available? Oh, it is available on the uh, Xbox game. Yeah, I might download this game at some point in time, play it again because I was like, no, nah, I thought it was a I thought it was a decent game and stuff. So. But anyways, if you have any more or if you have any questions um, that you would like to know about racing games, feel free to uh, ask them. Um, you can reach out to me. I stream twice a day on Twitch. So, uh, yeah, you know, join my streams at any given point in time. And be all like, hey, I heard your episode about the racing games, blah, 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 with your question, so on and so on. And I'll do my best to answer it. So anyways, with that being said, I will talk to you all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. Stay tuned for the next episode. Make Make sure you like and subscribe if you're viewing this on YouTube. Follow or subscribe if you're viewing this on podcast streaming service. Thank you guys and peace.